This year is 2017. A lot of things happened this year leading towards this day now. This funeral never started now. It has been prepared for for the whole year. I knew such a thing as this will come. That's why nobody saw me cry. That's why nobody saw my tears. Really, I would like to talk to his mom who passed away, you know, three years ago. Just say, Mama, what do we do now? What do we do now? You know, how do I get on without you? How do I go on without you? You know, how do I go on without you and then? Tell me, you know? I'd always said, if everything ever happened to you, I'd move in with your mom because I would miss you too much. And, and um, then she passed away. I grew up with a dad and a brother. I didn't know these things. And he grew up with a mom. He taught me how to sleep, how to properly wash clothes, how to properly cook. He had been, and now I see he'd been training me. Not that he knew that this would happen, but he had prepared me to such a way that I can be the woman I am now and, and progress in life. Um, this message, he said, we are a team, you're my life partner forever. I love you, heart emoji. <laughs> he, he's actually stressed and excited for the future to come. Like so much in life that we've been working towards was finally felt like it was just coming together at last. I feel like if you're watching a movie of Lindani's life, this is like the climax, the pinnacle. Why would you murder someone at the pinnacle of their life? Like literally, you know, you have a wife and kids and you're just about to finally get to work and make your American dream come true. He didn't even care about all that nonsense of, of uh, this is the land of whatever. He just wanted to provide for us and, and, and be able to provide for people back home. I'll never forget, I mean, we were in Hawaii for, for only three months, but he took the time to meet all my friends, all my family, see all the houses I grew up in. I mean, I, we moved all the time, so it's like, like eight houses <laughs> and it's like nine schools so he took the time he even his last profile picture is in front of my old house and it's it's over my old school and and he said take a picture of me here and it just meant so much that he also was willing to meet me where i was in my culture he, he ran up to me after going to the gym one day i think we've been there only a month in hawaii and he gave me a big hug and i'm like why why are you giving, why are you hugging me and he's like he's like thank you for bringing me here i love it here drive home he didn't even just thank me he said you know before I this I thought you're a good wife but I know you're the best wife in me now you know he said you're perfect I'm like why are you saying all this stuff right now he felt like he needed protection that day and he said it throughout the day um that he wanted some type of spiritual protection and he's no you'll understand later and maybe another 20 minutes of driving or 30 and oh my gosh and just he just saw whatever, I don't know what he saw, but I feel like he, he saw things like, I don't know what it's like before you die, but I feel like some people know the day they're gonna die. My last two is the picture. Hey, where are you, babe? Like, are you on your way? Where are you? Are you okay? Just tell me you're okay. And and he, the phone just ring, ring, ring. Dance, Anderson. <laughs> If you look at the police report from when I hung up, if you look at my phone record, I hung up with him. 18 minutes later, they had had four bullets in him. So just tell me that's not racist. Tell me how, how you can go from not understanding what someone's saying to calling the cops, to them coming to sneak attack you, you know, in the dark, trying not to show you who they are, not announcing that they're police, to show, putting a gun in your face in the dark as someone's screaming at you. I don't know if he thought that that was her thug friends that she sent. I understand when you do something wrong, the instinct is to cover it up. So I see what I see the tactic. I don't honor it. I want truth to come out. Um, nobody from the U.S. government has contacted me. Nobody from uh, Hawaii government has has come. The investigator who told me he was murdered met me at the hospital the next morning to tell me that he passed, and I recorded that interaction.
because I could tell there's something fishy from the beginning. I know you can't come. I could tell they're about to tell me that he's gone because he's not at the hospital where I'm sitting he be. I find that convenient that they say that the body cam was switched on. We're also trying to prove if they destroyed evidence, but it's a hard thing to prove. And um, police in America have become a gang who protect each other. Do or die, <laughs> blood in, blood out.